In 1993, vocalist Aaron Lewis and guitarist Mike Mushak met at a Christmas party in Springfield, Massachusetts. Mushak introduced drummer John Wysotsky, while Lewis brought in bassist Johnny April to form the band in 1995. Stained is one of most successful new metal bands and one of few that was still successful on the mainstream scene even after new metal movement met its demise. Stain's debut self-released album, Tormented, generally drew its inspiration from new metal. Korn specifically seems like a heavy influence on their music, which does not come as a surprise, since the band began performing cover songs of bands such as Korn, Rage Against the Machine, Pearl Jam, Tool and Alice in Chains, among others, and played at local clubs for a year and a half. In October 1997, Staint acquired a concert slot through Aaron's cousin Justin Cantor with Limp Bizkit. Just prior to the performance, Limp Bizkit frontman Fred Durst was appalled by Staint's grotesque album cover and unsuccessfully attempted to remove them from the bill. Durst thought that Staint were theistic Satanists. After being persuaded to let Stain perform, Durst was impressed with their set. In fact, Durst was so impressed that he signed them to Flip Records by February 1998. On April 13, 1999, Stain released its major label debut, Dysfunction, on Flip Records. <laughs> The album, which was co-produced by Fred Durst and Terry Date, received comparisons to alternative metal giants Tool and Korn. In particular, Aaron Lewis was praised for his vocals, which were likened to those of Pearl Jam's Eddie Vedder. During the recording of the album, Fred Durst has suggested that Aaron should focus more on his singing rather than on aggressive vocals, which resulted in a more light album than the band initially intended. The album achieved slow success, reaching the number one spot on Billboard's Hit Seeker charts almost six months after its debut. In the same week, the album jumped to number 74 on Billboard's Top 200 album charts. To promote this function, band went on several tours, including Family Values Tour with Limp Bizkit and Korn. True popularity and acknowledgement came with the release of Stain's third studio album, Break the Cycle. The album saw the band retaining their previous new metal sound from Dysfunction. Despite the album having a lot of new metal elements, the album saw the band going further into their post-grunge sound, which is evident in its smash hit song, It's Been a While.
The song led critics to compare the band to several of other post-grunge bands at the time. It is this softer side of the band that drew mainstream attention to their music. Thanks to the success of their first single, It's Been a While, the album debuted at number one on Billboard's top 200 album charts, selling 716,000 albums in its first week. The album's first week sales were the second highest of any album that year. Important to note that the song was not originally written by Stained, but by Aaron Lewis and his previous band J Cat with minor changes in lyrics and musical arrangement. Outside, another single from Break the Cycle was also originally written with J Cat. Aaron Lewis obviously had a passion for slower and more emotionally vulnerable music that would please mainstream audience before Stained was formed. In 2001, Break the Cycle sold 4 million copies worldwide, making it one of the best-selling albums that year. Break the Cycle would go on to sell 7 million copies worldwide, making this Stain's best-selling album.